Wow. That's so cool. <laughs> Boston. It's, I'm, I'm walking here. No. <laughs> It, it literally just looks like to me, I haven't been to New York, but <laughs> no, just like, like a little bit of a smaller New York. Hey, this is sick. Holy this crap. is really cool. Wow. I'm going to explain what happened when we went to Salem. Yeah, it, uh, they take Halloween pretty seriously. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they were all dressed as witches and... There was about 10,000 people walking all over the streets and every single, not even parking spot on the the street was taken up but all the parking lots were taken up all the parking garages everything was completely full so we drove around for a whole bunch saw it but we couldn't even get a spot like anywhere yeah it was just like there was like a hollow i didn't even know there was like a halloween like festival going on in the square and mm -hmm. it was chaotic it was the most people i've ever seen crammed into a small town so we just looked at it and then we're like you know what let's just go to boston <laughs> let's just get let's just get there yeah so we in boston yeah we just got into boston it's about 3 20 right now we're gonna have a late lunch over here in Fenuel hall which was suggested to us by my neighbor and i think that'll be perfect as we were driving into boston and i was trying to find somewhere to eat I got very overwhelmed because there are so many restaurants in Boston and different areas and stuff. So I called my neighbor who's from Boston and he was absolutely fantastic. He told us all the best places to go. He's the one that suggested we go to Fenuel Hall for lunch, which is like this old historic building where they used to have like farmer's markets like hundreds of years ago. And there's a bunch of different food and a bunch of different stalls. So we're gonna go there right now for like dinner, late lunch dinner. And then we're doing all the places he suggested tomorrow for dinner and lunch and just exploring and stuff. So that was really helpful because Boston is very overwhelming. There's a lot going on, so. Yeah, but I'm excited that we left Salem very early and we're gonna spend more time here. I think that'll be nice. Yeah. Okay, we just need to park. <laughs> the leaves are falling. <laughs> I thought we agreed we weren't gonna do that anymore. I can't. <laughs> Wait, I just dropped it. Oh, here it is. Autumn. Walking around. We are in the Beacon Hill neighborhood. This is a cool, what is this park called? Do you remember? Uh, no. Some park in front of the Capitol building, whatever state building. So our plan, it's a little rainy, but it's still only like what, 4.30 or something? Yeah. So we're gonna walk, we're trying to find like the cute Beacon Hill neighborhood. Apparently it's supposed to be like all the historic houses and stuff, so. Check it out. Just check it out. Cute neighborhood. Those windows. All right. What we came to Boston for? Oh. <laughs> it's so cobbly. Look at this. Oh wow, that's cool. I am gonna have a hard time walking down. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. Wow, this is really cool. Look at that. Think you can do it? Yeah. And it's like slippery too. <laughs> and I already have bad traction. No, we'll make it, we'll make it. Oh yeah, it's quiet. Wow. It's very European. It is. It's almost like Europeans built it or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and people's like back yards are right there. K 
Okay, we have a plan of action. Whew, I am out of breath. <laughs> Beacon Hill has so many cute kids stores that I really want to go in, but everything's closed because it's Sunday. So we're going to come back tomorrow and walk around, but right now we're going to go get pastries in the north end. Let's do it. Yes. There's this place called Mike's Pastries, which is supposed to be the best desserts and pastries in Boston. So obviously we're going to try it. We're in the north end. Where are we made? Where all the Italian food is. <laughs> we're going to go to Mike's Pastry. This street is really cool. It's just all Italian restaurants. There's so many of them. <laughs> what do you want, babe? I'm sure, yeah. That's it. We don't need dinner. <laughs> Just checked into our hotel in Boston. Well, Stoughton. Stoughton, a little, <laughs> a little out of outside of Boston, but it's this room we got like a really good deal on it. It's so nice. We got it for seventeen dollars a night. Seventeen? Like I thought we were gonna be staying in like a rat-infested like cockroach hotel, and this is like okay. Let me just it, show it, you. It's twenty minutes outside of downtown. Boston. Yeah, it's only twenty minutes outside of Boston. Let me just show you how big this bathroom is. Shower, bathroom over here sink mini bar here and then look at this for $17 like they're losing money on us for sure <laughs> they're they're losing money well, the thing is so like my I think that what happens is when hotels at the very last minute if they know they're not gonna get rooms filled they offer those deals like especially through chase or whatever like we get we booked it through points even yeah. So they just know it's like we, they weren't going to get us anyway. So yeah, but like they're paying their house cleaner more than $17 to clean this room. Yeah. You know? Um, but we got big couch over here. Yeah, I mean, not bad. So I'm in a shower, get my comfy cozies. We're going to eat this for dinner. <laughs> a really nutritious dinner for us. All season baby. Yeah. And we are tired. We did like 10.1, wait, 10,000. 200 uh, miles today. Miles. No, we did not. <laughs> uh, 10,200 steps. Which and isn't that much. That's it's not, not much. that much, but I have like a, I have a strained ligament or tendon like in my groin area and it's been a little tricky. So that's a lot. Yeah, so that's a lot of steps for me. But we'll see you guys in the morning for our full day in Boston. You show them what you have? Well, I showed on the video. Well, I'll sh I'm in a shower, but I'll show you guys what, what these look like. They look really good. Um, and I'll give you our little review. Okay. Moment of truth. And I already have heartburn. This is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't skimp on the sizes <laughs> at all. So we got tiramisu, cheesecake, Boston cream pie. Are you getting a hole all the way down? Yeah. I feel like they could have done more layers of the... But that part. Yeah, just a lot of uh, the cream. Yeah. The bottom part's good, though. I like mm -hmm. this part. Okay. Next one. I'll give that a 7 out of 10. That's a good cheesecake. What do you give that one? 9 out of 10. Wow, really? It's good. It's like really... It just looks classic. Uh-huh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That was good. Good, huh? Wow. Okay. So this is what Boston's famous for. Shelly thought I was kidding. <laughs> is it, so it's just cake with chocolate? And there's some cream in the middle. Tastes like, like classic birthday cake. I was gonna say it tastes like birthday cake. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. With chocolate. The I mean, it's good, but I feel like, I feel like that's something like I would make just for like someone's birthday. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, just try it without the I like it though. It's just funny. Like it's so ordinary. Yeah. All right. We're gonna finish Hocus Pocus. Go to bed. Start again tomorrow. <laughs>
morning. Actually, it's noon. No, it's not. It's still Afternoon. 11. It's still 11? Okay, so we're on day two in Boston, and we kind of slept in a little bit compared to the other days. Woke up at like eight-ish, and had a really nice breakfast on Beacon Hill. We came back to the same neighborhood we were in yesterday that you guys saw that was really cute. And I just walked up and down the main street, and now we're gonna go check out this neighborhood called Back Bay. Yes. And it's supposed to just have like amazing houses and mansions and just, I like the residential stuff a lot, so. We're gonna go check that out. But it's a nice day, it's not raining yet. It's supposed to. It's supposed to start soon. It's supposed to start. Like I'm a little, my hair's a little puffy. It's definitely like moist in the air, but it's not bad. Yeah. I'm not cold. No, it's good. I'm dressed very appropriately. Mm -hmm. And our last day in Boston before we head out. Yes, and I'm gonna try taking pictures again because with film cameras you need light. And yesterday it was too, <laughs> it was too late in the day, so none of it was working. Uh huh. I'm gonna try again, but it's still not very sunny, so. But we have some fun plans today. We have a good breakfast, or we have a good lunch and a dinner plan. Mm -hmm. And some cool stuff we wanna see. Let's do it. Wow. I think it's trash day in Beacon Hill, so that's nice. Perfect day. Yeah, but I told Shelly it's prepping us for New York because <laughs> I hear trash is a thing there. <laughs> I did also hear that. Yes. <laughs> this is like this, just, it just looks so old. Who would have thought? It's Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Here, they have a lot of those here. A really huge church. Look at that. Let's go, yeah, let's go sit on the bench. I'll launch, launch up the drone somewhere. It is pretty. So I've been seeing these, this duck thing. See how there's like a mama duck statue with little baby ducks? Yeah. I've been seeing that everywhere. I wonder if that's like a Boston thing. Maybe. Maybe that, you know that children's book with the duck? It's like a green cover and it has a duck. Uh-huh. I actually weirdly like this weather for Boston. <laughs> Headed now to Commonwealth Street. We're on a side street that's next to Commonwealth. This one's like a little less busy, but these houses are really nice. This neighborhood is kind of how I picture like the brownstone areas of New York. Just stopped in Blue Bottle, one of our favorites. My first time. Oh, you never had Blue Bottle? It's Kanye's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> He's always in the in the of course. Car. <laughs> I just got a decaf, half shot decaf, oat milk, whole milk. Shelly wants to chill for a little bit. He likes his afternoon chill time. It's necessary. All right, we're at the Union Oyster House in uh, almost in the north end, and we're both very low on blood sugar and energy. So we just want to get some clam chowder, something kind of small. But apparently, this is America's oldest restaurant. So that's kind of cool. I'll show you guys the outside too. It's, it's a cool looking building, and it's so much bigger inside than I thought. Like, it just keeps going and going and going over there. Anyways, we came here for the clout, the clouder, <laughs> the clam chowder, so I think we're gonna get that. Some clam chowder, garlic bread. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's exactly what I needed right now. Just adds the ambiance, you know. <laughs> Okay, we're very full, but now we're in the north end, which is where we were last night getting dessert, and it's kind of like the Little Italy. Okay, there's restaurants everywhere. And it's just kind of, I don't know, a lot going on. We're just gonna explore around here until dinner, because our dinner reservation is in the north end. So, just walking around, and it's really cool, it's interesting. There's like a harbor back here, so. Kind of walk around. <laughs> 
you know. Yeah. Like I've just turned into the tour guide, maybe. Uh oh. <laughs> Paul Revere Memorial statue over here. Told us the British were coming. Yep. Then over here, according to Shelley, this is what is it? The North Church, North End Church. The old North Church. So pretty down these trees. And also apparently a school over here. We're going between buildings. Not quite sure where we're going, but it's fun. A little bit. It started pouring on us, so we played some cards in this little Italian cafe. Yes. Real nice. Beat Shelly and Rummy, of course. <laughs> First time for everything. No. And uh, we're walking to dinner right now. We're going to Ristorante Limoncello? Nope. Limoncello Ristorante. Yes. And uh, this was suggested by my neighbor again. We're really excited. And this should cap off our Boston adventures. It's been fun. It's been really fun and I'm done walking. <laughs> it's been like 12,000 steps, so. Yeah, excited to go home and watch some Halloween movies. Here's the restaurant, but we heard the Paul Revere house is like right next door? Right up here to the left. Okay, we're gonna go look at that first. So it's, it was Paul Revere's house, but it's also the oldest private residence, like oldest house in Boston, just I ironically, so. Is that ironic? Well, I mean like, it's ironic that it was Paul Revere's too. That's true, that's You know, ironic. it's famous for two reasons. So we're gonna, oh yeah, it's right here. It's this dark one. We're gonna look at that real quick and then eat. <laughs> it does look pretty old. Though. It does look old. That's what all these houses probably look like before. Yeah. Well, there it is. Oldest house in Boston. Boston. Lame. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, dinner. You overwhelmed by your menu sign? I like places that don't skimp on the bread. Ooh, we got olives. Love it. This is the Rosetti pancetta cream sauce. He said this is what they're famous for. So I got it. And homemade noodles. This looks really good. And Shelly got lobster ravioli. Lobster and crab ravioli. I think it's both. It's really good. Uh, well, we might have gone back to Mike's pastry again. <laughs> We're trying it again. We're gonna try what they're known for. Well, do you even like cannolis in general? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Very good. You happy, right. happy with it? Mm -hmm. Worth $6? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> good morning. It is now Tuesday, October 25th. So we left Boston this morning. We woke up really early and we were out by eight. It was really good. So we're driving now to our next destination, which is Cape Cod. We're going to Cape Cod. Halfway through our drive was Plymouth. So we're stopping here to get some coffee. Mm -hmm. So this guy doesn't get a headache because mm -hmm. it's right at nine o'clock and that's when he gets a headache. Yep. Caffeine addiction is yep, real. He's addicted. It so we're affects a lot of people. It does. <laughs> so we're going to get some coffee and hopefully some breakfast because I'm starving. I just wake up so hungry. It's like a weird sensation. <laughs> I literally, I woke up at like seven and my stomach was like growling. I was like, I ate a huge cannoli last night. How is this possible? But yeah, it's, this is a cute town. It's really small, but it's all foggy and spooky and Ooh. there's some cool stuff here. So I'll try to show you guys something and hopefully we can see the rock. No. We hear, rock. We're, we've hear we heard great things about the rock. Ooh. The Plymouth rock. Ooh. And I think worse that, than Paul Revere's house. And I think um, the Mayflower is here too. So we'll we'll check that out. Despite Shelly's pleas, we are going to Plymouth Rock. We just got some bagel breakfast sandwiches to go so we can keep driving. And the coffee shop we wanted to go to that looked really good is like not here anymore. So we're gonna try a different town, but I wanna see the rock. I wanna see the rock. Yes, it's right down here.
I have good news. I found the Mayflower. It's Mayflower too. Well, whatever. It's a Mayflower. What is the two? What is the second one? I don't know. Looks like the first. Yeah, so the original Mayflower, it went off the records in the 1630s. But what do you so mean it went off the records? They it lost went off, it? It went off radar in the 1630s. This replica was a gift from Great Britain after World War II. Like, not even 100 years old. Boo! This is a rock. <laughs> You're killing the moment, babe. <laughs> I'm confused. Why are you so confused? This isn't a rock. You would be right here on the beach. It's like protecting it. So this whole thing was built over the rock? Probably. Oh my god. There's the <laughs> There it is. First impression. I'm not even gonna say it. What's your first impression, babe? It's a rock. <laughs> Did they like come and stand on it or something? I mean, there's lots of rocks around here. This is just like, this is just approximately where they landed. This is just so funny. There's like an entire building structure around this. I think this water is cooler. Look at how mysterious these boats are. They don't even land on the rock or stay on the rock. It's just a symbol of them landing here. The people that landed here had like different descriptions about it. One person was like, yeah, whatever, I landed on the beach. Another person said something else. So they just took this rock and said, okay, this will be the symbol of the pilgrims landing <laughs> so here in America. It might not have been where they actually landed. No, it's not might. It, it wasn't. <laughs> well, the jury's out. Is it Chatham or Chatham? Chatham. Chatham? Yep. Is it too early to buy toddlers? Yes. Never. <laughs> I think we should go in goodies. Huh? I think we should go in goodies. They might have some goodies. You can check out goodies. Oh, look, we're getting close to the pumpkin church. Oh no. We can take a picture. <laughs> we just got in the car because we thought the town was over. And the main part of the town was up the street. They call it P-Town. In Portland. Maybe. <laughs> All these towns have the biggest town hall buildings. As they say. What do they do in there? It's so interesting. Good morning. It's about 7.30 in the morning on Wednesday. And we're leaving Cape Cod right now to drive to Rhode Island, which is our next destination. I'm so excited about Rhode Island. We're staying in Providence, Rhode Island, and we're gonna explore Newport, Westerly, just all these cute little cities around Rhode Island, just because it's so small, we can do that. Yeah, but Cape Cod was interesting. I mean, we knew we were going in the off season, like Cape Cod's definitely a summer destination, but we just thought, you know, we could still see some lighthouses, we could explore, and when we drove in, uh, we stayed at like kind of like the tip of Cape Cod and it took a long time to drive to the tip which I didn't expect and it was so foggy that we can't even see any lighthouses. We can't even see the water. We can't see like 20 feet in front of us. So it's kind of pointless. Um, so we basically used the Cape Cod time to kind of relax and recharge and I did some work yesterday on my laptop and Shelly took a nap. So it was just kind of like a nice change of pace but we didn't really get to do much here if that makes sense. So we're stopping by a coffee shop right now in the town and then we're gonna head to Rhode Island and it says it should be around like two hour, maybe two hour and 10 minute drive to Rhode Island from here. Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very interesting people here. It's been, it's been interesting. 